Hi, I'm Tom Jones and welcome. I've got some ideas I want to show you today. We're at Joe's studio and I want to show you this one particular painting that I have. It's about having the sun rays coming through the forest in the background. I know that many of you who like nature and in the wilderness have seen these types of scenes and thought to yourself, I would like to paint those types of scenes. I'm going to show you how I do it. So let me set this aside and I'll get you started. I'm going to start by putting some color on pure paper just to show you how I got started. I'm going to go to my palette. I'm going to pick up my large brush. This is a one and a half inch wash brush and I'm going to have a lot of water in this mixture that I have and my mixture is ultramarine blue deep and hooker green deep. So I don't want necessarily a blue look to it or a green look to it. So I add those two colors and add enough water to where I have sort of a smoky look to it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that color and I'm going to transfer it over to my paper. Watch what I do. A very, very light touch to this particular color going on the paper here. Just a light wash is all I have. So I'm just putting down enough color and then what I want to do is I'm going to pick up my little script brush which works like a rigger brush and I'll create the illusion the illusion of some tops of trees in this forest that I have here. So it's these little trees here just to give you a little interest in this particular area and I'll show you again where it is in the actual painting itself. But just a touch of a few of these trees is what I've put here just to give you a little idea of the smoky uh, morning with the fog in the woods and the sun rays coming through early in that morning and so forth. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of water in this particular spray bottle and I'm going to come up real close and just touch a few dots of color at the top of that tree area. And the reason for it is I want somewhat of a muted edge there. I don't want a real hard edge on the top of this tree line with the sky out behind it. So I'm keeping it sort of a misty, muted edge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on for just a moment and I'm going to show you how I put this color in. Now, if the color goes on too dark, what I'm going to do in my next stage won't work. So we want to make sure that this is a light value or a light color. If I feel it's too dark, what I can do is just take tissues, lay it on the paper like so, and just pick up some of the excess color and push that color back to a little bit lighter value. Watch what I do here now. Just take and just lighten it up so it's a lighter value. See how I've done that? I don't want a real dark value. If you've got some texture going on in here, great, all the better. All right? So that's how I start this particular exercise. Now, when I do the complete phase, this first phase of the painting, the color goes all the way out to the edges. So I want you to understand that perfectly. Let me take and set this aside for just a moment. I have a dry piece now and I'm going to show you what the next phase is so that we can start this process. Let me set this one aside. Now this one I did a little earlier and you can see it's basically the same idea. I've even started to introduce a layer of trees in here. Now let me mention this to you. The idea behind the sun ray effect here is that we want to come in with a light value to start with, with sort of a mist in the woods. Then we're going to come in with some very light values of some trees in the distance. Then we dry that. Then what we do is we come back in, we do the sun rays next. Then we put the darks on top, the darker trees or the closer trees on top, so that you have a layering going on in the painting, and that's what we're looking for. So let me go ahead and continue on here. Again, have a tissue in hand and then start putting in some of these trees. Now notice if the tree area gets a little too dark, all you have to do is simply come in and just lighten it. Just take the tissue and lighten it. It's easier than using a paper towel in this case, I believe, because the, t the tissues are more absorbent and you can sort of drag them down and get them quickly going without having to fold the paper towel and all of that. Have some of the trees going on an angle as an example. Remember, the beauty of nature is not in perfection. The beauty of nature is in its imperfection. So you'll want to have some of the trees leaning, some of them going straight up and so forth. Don't worry about getting too uh, complicated here. It's just a, an illusion that there's some trees or forest area going on in the distance. See that? Now you can see, if you look closely here, see how light that value is? And that's what you'll normally see when you're looking into a forested area early in the morning with that mist and so forth and the sun rays coming across.
Now I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to add a couple of more trees just so you can see those. Again, keeping those a light value. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in and show you how we use some tape and tape off the area. And I'll show you how we can lift out some color for some sun rays. Then I'll show you another way of adding in some darks using a, a little bit of a mat board and a spray bottle. So we'll show you how to do that as well. So let me go ahead and take some tape. I've already pulled the tape off the roll and we'll just come in and add in some tape to the area here. We're going to sort of create this illusion of, of uh, sun rays coming through. So sort of like this. Have them on a nice angle and we'll do a couple of more just so you can see how the sun rays come through. And then we'll do just one more. Let's do one down here, just for a little fun. Let me tear this off. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take, in this case, a toothbrush and water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to just start lifting some of this color with my toothbrush. And you'll get, a, you'll get some very light rays coming through. See how easy that is? Moving the brush in the same direction as the tape itself. We'll just do a few of these and then we'll dry this and I'll show you how we can create some more sun rays using another technique. So just a few of these and you'll see where that sun ray is coming through the forested area here. Now you're going to find when you take the tape off, remove the tape, you're going to have hard edges everywhere. We can take our toothbrush and soften some of those edges and I'll show you how we do that as well. So let me pull this off. Let me go ahead and take the tape off. Make sure we've got some of the excess water pick, picked up. Pull off some of, the, some of the tape and you'll see some very faint sun rays to start with. You can start to see them right here. And you can see it right there. Notice the sun rays right here. Okay. So there's one way of, of starting with the creation of some of these sun rays. Now we'll do one other thing for you. We're going to take our brush. This is a three-quarter inch flat brush. And we'll simply take some of the color and we'll come in and create another way of doing some sun rays. Let me go ahead and just take the tissue and soften some of the edges. You don't want hard edges everywhere. So we're just going to come in and just create the illusion again of some more sun rays. Take the tissue, soften some of the edges, and all of a sudden you start seeing the sun rays start to come through. Now I mentioned to you before, if you've got some hard edges and so forth where you use the tape, you can come in, just put a little color there and start to soften some of those edges so they're not quite as harsh as that. You want them maybe a little softer? That's an easy way of doing it. See how simple it is to do the sun rays now? We'll have a little darker area of some of the color coming through. Pull the, the uh, tissue again with it and all of a sudden you start to line up with the sun rays. Now another way of doing it is to use a, a mat board. And we come in with the mat board and you lay it down and we can just hit and get a couple of areas that might be a little darker for you. So there's three different methods of doing this now. So now we've got some areas that are a little darker. Let's try it again here. And notice all of a sudden you got these interesting sun rays coming through. Now at this stage what we're going to do is we're going to take a minute and dry this and I can start putting in some darker trees. So we're going to have a layering going on with various trees coming through here. So that's the next stage. So let me take a moment. I'm going to go ahead and dry this particular painting and then I'll come back and we'll continue on with the trees.